Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Broccoli Treehouse custom groups. The custom groups are similar to your regular islands groups or entity worlds. This table shows you a comparison between the three. What's most, most important is, is the custom groups are able to be copied at runtime and when we do so, each entity stays a separate entity, unlike an entity world where the whole thing is just joined together. This could be useful for, say, spawning a house at runtime and then still being able to destroy each entity separately. Or in the case of the Broccoli Treehouse building aids, it's used to generate structures out of groups and we are still able to make compositions or blueprints because the entities remain separate. So here are my um, main scripts and here are the tools. I'm going to start by duplicating the custom group template, which is just a entity label. Alternatively, you can create a new entity label and place this script inside of it. I'm going to position this by my bridge, which I'd like to make a group out of it. And I'm going to position it and rotate it as if it was a pivot for a group. This will be the origin of your group. I'm just going to do it roughly for the sake of the tutorial, but you might want to be more um, accurate. Once I've done that, I'm going to select my everything I want to be in the group and I'll deselect the um, entity label and then over here in your properties window under labels you're going to take the eyedropper and select the custom group template. This now creates a uh, adds all those entities to this label. I'm going to rename this to bridge group and you're done. So to use the, um, the custom group, there are a few different scripts, uh, instructions, and I'm going to show you a couple of examples. I'm just going to use on create event with a short delay. If you do things immediately when the game starts with these, you do need to put in a bit of a delay and then under custom group, you'll see different functions you can use. You'll find more detail on these in the written tutorial, which will be linked in the description. So I'm just going to create a copy of the group um, using this block. The first parameter is your entity label. The reference point um, is going to be where you spawn it and then your interactions as a boolean I'm going to make it false so that there are no interactions at all with the entities in the group so that's one example and then let's also in this lever I'm going to create a on switch on event and when we do this we are going to set the rotation of our group to, let's say, Y90. Let's test this out. So you can see this group got copied over here. And if I pull this lever, this group will rotate. That's about it. Thanks for watching.